Hello, マシリーズ。Long time no see. We had a great time at Jimitov, don't we? I talked a lot with customers and presented the new products, so my boss was husky during the show. It was a good memory. I'm talking to you today from a room near the factory. I also put on my G25 U00 return to origin car. All right, from here today, I will introduce you all to our new futures. Let's have a fun with it. Now, have you ever had this experience? Rush, I mean, hurry, start machine. Bam! Oh my! I'm definitely going to check for interference because I've had this happen to me before. Oh, setting up is so hard. Bam! Oh my! That's a tough one then. But with the pass checker, it's fine. No problem. One of the things that I think it's hard in setting up the machine is the checking the program and checking interference. Simulation is useful, but it's hard to set up. It takes a lot of time because you have to input all the information on the tool, workpiece, and JAWS properly before you can use it. As a result, I think there are many people who don't use the simulation and run the actual machine to check. When I use the machine, first run it empty without workpiece before the actual machine. I often check for interference with the jaw with the dead stroke goes to the maximum position. As for interference with the workpiece, I make the machine upload slowly with the dry run when actually uploading with the workpiece, but it takes a lot of time and it's mentally very exhausting. I think everyone has had the experience of running machine in a dry run while nervous about whether or not it will interfere or starting machining in a hurry and having it interfere with the workpiece. I'm one of them. Here is a picture of a time when I broke a tool due to interference this year. I wish I could erase my memory. In such case, the pass checker can easily display the trajectory and even check for interference. You can check it from various angles like this, and it's easy to see like a 3D model. You can display the left and right main spindles at the same time. And if you want to see a larger view, you can make it bigger. Oh, so big. It feels like using a smartphone. The model looks like happy movie. You can also play with it by making an inverted race or a vertical race. Yeah, very fun. It's a joke. Yeah. So now let's get back on track and look at the setting. This is a particular point that made it so easy. The jaw comes in a default shape. If you want to use a special shape, you can use a setting. The material is automatically loaded from the program. If you are using the manual guide, the material definitions are included in the program, so you can just keep them there. If you are using a manual programming, you only need to add lines of material definition to the program. The trajectory is displayed in color, so it's very easy to see. The color can be changed for each process, and cutting feed and rapid feed are also distinguished, of course. It's also easy to understand that if there is an interference, the path will turn red. This is the end of the setting screen. There were no troublesome settings. It's very easy. From here, we would like to actually use the path checker. How do I use it? When you open the path checker, you can just create a program as usual. Normally, it would be a pain to simulate the path after creating a program and then having to go to the barrier screen and press many buttons to simulate the path. With path checker, the trajectory is displayed in real time, 
So there is no need to press many buttons over and over again. And you can check the program while creating it. Okay, now let's look at the function of interference checking by creating a program in which interference occurs. In my work, I'm very nervous to make a program with interference. Today, I'm going to try to make interference happen with a lot of enthusiasm. First, let's look at the point where the cutting edge approaches the work is. This is a point we often check in a dry run on the actual machine. Yes, I'll make a mistake in the dead position here and change it from plus to minus. This is a common mistake, isn't it? Yes, I found that there is an interference. When I touch this red line, the castle jumped to the interference program line. Wow, it's surprising. This allows me to correct it immediately. It's very convenient and smart way. Look at it. Now let's go back to 2.0. Yes, the problem is gone. Next, we'll look at the interference between the two and the jaws. I think many of you are doing interference checks without a work piece on the actual machine. Now, let's set the dead position to dead minus 150.0, which is a bit too much. Yes, interference. Yes, interference with the jaw has been confirmed. Now, let's make the mess. Now, let's make a mistake of forgetting to put the decimal point. We'll try to erase the decimal point of x here. You can easily see this too. By checking interference and trajectory in this way, even you check it again on the actual machine after this, it will be much easier to check. So this will save you an overwhelming amount of time and mental burden. Yeah? After all, if you run the actual machine without checking, you will get tired of checking it slowly and nervously, wondering if it will collide with the actual machine. We are making machines to cut the body of manufacturing, so we would like to make this happen more and more. By the way, there may be some customers who don't need collision check, but just need to see the trajectory. In such case, you can turn off the collision check and see only the trajectory. Now if you reproduce the previous example, we can see that the trajectory is strange, so we immediately try to correct it because it's not right. When you can always see the trajectory, you naturally make fewer mistakes. The control panel is your closest partner. The pass checker will be standard feature of NT-SmartX control panel from now on, taking some of the burden off your shoulders. Of course, it can also add it via NT update. Please note, however, that because the pass checker must match the hardware, it can only be installed on recent models. Please pay attention about it. Now I'm off to check my own path and have a snap in my spare time. Thank you, Pass Checker. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you soon, machinist. Bye.